This was the late Stephen Malinga's haven after a hard day's work. It is also where he breathed his last yesterday night. He collapsed in his bedroom after a quiet evening attending to his farm and meeting constituents and relatives. <laughs> Malinga's death has dealt the country a huge blow. But it is in his home area that the shock will probably be more difficult to absorb. His, his wife came and now to sit with him here on the veranda <coughs> after around eight. Then they entered inside for lunch, I mean for supper. Then from supper, they also finished to eat supper. They also entered into their bedroom. When we went to sleep, the house girl came and called, calling us, I'm um, he has fainted. When we entered there, we got that he was lying on the bed. When my father came back, he told me that uh, your uncle is back, he's okay, we have had tea together, and I've left him with some visitors who had come to check on him. But it was around uh, 9.30 in the night when uh, the Shamba boy came and picked me that your uncle is dead. Results of a post-mortem at Mulago Hospital are yet to be released, but Malinga is said to have had some medical complications. Diabetes, the pressure. So the house, house girls, at least every night, they have to prepare tea. When a diabetes goes up, he has to take what? A tea to cool, out, cool down the diabetes. On his return after over 30 years in the United States, Malinga made it his business to develop a constituency said to have been previously neglected. The tears tell it all. We have missed a lot. Let me say the whole of Palisa, we have missed. He has been a hardworking minister for us, and he has worked for us a lot of things, even in development. We are very poor here, but now we have missed, we are going backwards now. In the 70s, when he left this place for America, the place went bad, it was a bush here, but when he came back he said, let me go and stay with my people. And he started the campaigning and by God's grace, he succeeded and he became an MP of this area. And he brought services to his people. I've missed him a lot. I worked from, for him from 2009 up to date. The government today released a tentative program that will lead up to the departed surgeon's burial. So the body stays in Monago until Monday. Then on Monday at 10, it will be brought to Parliament. We have been in touch with the Speaker, and she's going a special sitting of Parliament for this purpose. And then uh, there will be public viewing from 10 up to 2 when it goes into the chambers for members to pay their last respects. Then the body will be transported to his ancestral home in Vutewo, Parisa, where it will, uh, where the video is going to be, and burial is slated for Wednesday, uh, 17th. His colleagues in cabinet shared their memory of the late minister. Very simple, very solidly intellectual. He was a very, very intelligent man, and and uh, not a show of character. Among the Tesla leaders, the members of parliament in particular, uh, Honorable Malinga was always the, the, the leader who tried to bring us together. So a bridge maker is gone. May his soul rest in eternal peace. Gabriel Epenu, NTV.